Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this quick uh, webinar on COVID-19 and Cetra's response. Uh, I'm Michael Josephs. I'm the marketing manager here at Cetra Systems, and I'm joined on the line in this webinar by Mike Soper. Mike Soper is a critical environment specialist for Cetra Systems. He has industry experience in healthcare and mechanical systems for the last 25 years. Um, he's based in the Northeast region, which is also where Cetra is headquartered and deals with a lot of the larger hospitals in the New England area. Uh, so Mike, thanks so much for joining us. Sure, good morning, Mike. So obviously the thing on everyone's minds is COVID-19, uh, particularly in the healthcare field. Uh, hospitals are quickly trying to pivot and find ways that they can uh, meet the what we think will be an increased demand in healthcare services, uh, while also keeping their staff and other patients safe from the spread of this pandemic. So Mike, in your experience, working with a lot of hospitals that are um, frankly scrambling right now, um, what have you seen the response been and what have your recommendations been to those hospitals? Yeah, so of course there's a lot of concern in the healthcare industry today around uh, especially what to do with patients when they present symptoms for COVID-19. Um, you know, we've seen drive-through testing in parking lots, but if someone does need to go into the hospital for treatment, then there's a limited number of what we call isolation rooms that are in hospitals. You know, typically, uh, you know, a 200-bed hospital might have uh, only 20 isolation rooms. But if there's a spike in demand for um, uh, the pandemic situation that, that we're in now, um, it's especially critical for those isolation rooms to be operating properly in order to um, uh, keep the staff and the general public safe from any airborne contaminants. So um, we've seen an increased demand by hospitals, uh, you know, calling Cetra, wanting to make sure that their isolation rooms are running properly. Yeah, so in these isolation rooms, Mike, can you tell us what they're monitoring? I mean, maybe for someone joining this webinar and not quite knowing what goes on in an isolation room, why are they important and, and what parameters are they really looking at to keep the space safe? Yeah, so an, an isolation room is um, much like a normal patient room, except for the HVAC and the airflow system. Uh, the HVAC system in an isolation room um, makes the room slightly negative in terms of pressure. And what that means is that the airflow flows uh, kind of gently from the corridor into the room, and then any airborne contaminants from somebody that might be coughing in that room or be or have an airborne infection uh, like COVID-19 that air is actually exhausted through a special ventilation part of the hospital up through the rooftop and then dispersed into the into the air. So um, the the healthcare system hospitals generally call these negative rooms or airborne infection isolation rooms, and they're designed just for things like uh, SARS, COVID-19, uh, H1N1, and other types of airborne pathogens. Uh, and Cetra, actually, we offer a full line of room pressure monitors. I'm going to jump to those real quick because I want healthcare personnel to hear how uh, Cetra has stepped up to the plate, and we've done this for years, how we help keep those isolation rooms protected. So um, the next slide I just jumped to shows, I, I would say, our most popular uh, monitors. Obviously, Cetra Flex, which does more than just pressure, so like one of our new products, uh, SRPM, which has just been a bulletproof product for many years and our new hot wire replacement kit. Do you want to talk a little bit about those products and how they can help hospitals respond to the current demand that they're seeing now, but also help prepare themselves if this does, uh, if this does unfortunately become a bigger issue in our country and across the world? Yeah, so these, these products are critical to uh, making sure that isolation rooms are running properly. And that's not just Cetra's opinion, it's actually a, a, a code in the industry called ASHRAE 170. 
uh, and the ASHRAE 170 code it is uh, it's a code that mandates that hospitals have these types of monitors that are monitoring the airflow and these monitors will actually um, produce um, both an audible and a visual alarm to local staff and to the facility management personnel in the hospital to give them an early alert to any compromise in the intended airflow management of that of that given room. So all of these products uh, um, will serve that purpose to, uh, to, to, to varying degrees of features and functionality. Obviously, the one on the left is uh, a full featured product, the Cetra Flex. It's designed not just to monitor the negative pressure of isolation rooms, but also other parameters such as air change rate. Um, Cetra Light is the next one over with a round indicator that is a very simple visual outside a room. And then the SRPM is a, a similar product with a two inch touchscreen and the hot wire replacement kit, which is um, an adaptation of the Cetra Flex monitor, but it's designed to retrofit older installations that hospitals might have. And um, uh, so the, the, the hot wire replacement kit is something that can easily be adapted in about uh, a 15 or, or 20 minute process by uh, facility staff or HVAC technicians at the hospital themselves if they want to do that kind of um, uh, of upgrade. Sure, and I want to talk a little bit more about that product. Uh, sometimes we, we have some confusion. We don't uh, actually sell a hot wire kit. We actually see issues with uh, products that run that technology in hospitals, and, and we've created a very uh, easy kit to replace current hot wire Product. So in isolation rooms, why is it critical to go with Cetra's technology over hot wire technology? Yeah, so the hot wire technology, that, um, that, that sensor that you see above the, the, the flex unit, um, that's actually a flow through uh, hot wire technology. And that depends on a very low velocity of air to flow through that sensor past a, a little tip that we call a, um, um, a hot wire anemometer. And what can happen with that technology, especially in isolation rooms, is the clinical staff at the hospital is frequently changing bed linens in these rooms. Um, you can imagine that uh, this would be a very frequent process, especially during uh, during a pandemic like this, where you have to change and change linens and decontaminate the room uh, potentially very frequently. So those hot wires get clogged with lint and then the performance is degraded substantially. So now you don't really know uh, when that is clogged if the room is operating properly. The Cetra technology doesn't depend on this type of flow through and uh, is not subject to any of the uh, contamination from bed linens. So it's a very reliable and low maintenance technology to use. And uh, this just snaps over the old hot wire kits. And then we jump onto the, uh, the existing wire that's in the wall and allow it to connect to a flex unit that would be um, installed right below it. And I'd have to imagine, we're, we're hearing all these reports of how uh, especially COVID-19 is so highly contagious and it's an airborne uh, infectious disease. I, I have to imagine that with this flow through, there, there's probably a hole under that hub which could potentially allow infected air to seep out into the main hallway of a hospital, which we just absolutely do not want to happen. Um, so I, I know with Cetra's technology, we don't have that hole flowing through. I have to imagine that's a huge plus for isolation rooms to get rid of that um, quarter inch to half inch hole directly in your wall. Yeah, that that can be a concern. I mean, normally the airflow in these rooms is negative, so sure. it's being the air is being brought from the hallway into the room. But during these conditions where the sensor may clog, you don't know if the air is flowing in the right direction or whether there's any potentially um, um, you know, pathogen-borne air that could come through that sensor into the, into the hallway part of it. 
it, it's a it's a relatively minor concern, but I think one of the things that hospitals are paying a lot of attention to today is every detail of protection for the general public and the right kind of care for um, for for patients. So that means that uh, a lot of attention is being paid to making sure that these rooms are, are really operating uh, very well and very efficiently. Mike, with the increase in this pandemic, um, hospitals I'm sure are rushing to get additional rooms uh, converted over to isolation rooms. What What's your recommendation um, if they turn to Cetra Systems? What's your recommendation for a very quick install or even a temporary solution um, to help them cope with this demand increase in the need for isolation rooms? Yeah, so I, I would say the the two products in the middle, um, middle left Cetra Light with the round indicator and to the right of that, the SRPM, are probably the products that are easiest and fastest to install because they only require a single gang box, which is um, you know typically what might be either already installed at the uh, outside an isolation room or very easy to install outside an, an isolation room. So those are the two recommendations for, for uh, the fastest solution. Um, the next one on the right, if they do have hot wire in place and they don't have confidence that it's operating properly, that is an excellent upgrade and something that is very fast and easy to install um, with without much um, uh, with without with without a lot of um, necessity for the HVAC technician to modify the wall or or do anything else, it it literally you take off the old units and snap on the 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 new unit without any modification to the wall surface itself, and that's very important because in these areas they are very sensitive to airborne particles. So you don't want to have anyone that might be modifying, um, you know, replacing a wall box. Um, hospitals have to file what's called an infection control risk, risk assessment or ICRA uh, whenever they need to do that. So um, a very fast and easy replacement by, by that hot wire kit is, the, um, uh, is something that's, that's quick to do. And then on the left, the Cetra Flex unit installs in a triple gang box which if they are putting up new isolation rooms, uh, even in temporary spaces, Flex is very suitable for, for this, as are any of the other, uh, any of the other products for, for new construction where you might be putting in uh, a, a box in order to accommodate the device. Thanks, Mike. And just to reassure anyone out there that's considering Cetra, um, if they are doing hospital upgrades during this pandemic, um, we were around during some past uh, outbreaks of diseases. Um, our, our products had been around for many, many years. They're trusted in large hospitals, small hospitals and everything in between, um, as well as some of the most guarded laboratory spaces uh, across the world. Um, so Mike, with all that being said, are, are there any final thoughts you'd like to leave with a healthcare professional that's tuning in and uh, worried about how they're going to uh, keep up with this increased demand in their space. Yeah, so so I think um, I think in summary, um, it's important to mention that all of these products from Cetra, we've we've literally sold tens of thousands of these products to uh, North American hospitals and hospitals around the globe to help protect the staff and patients themselves from airborne contaminants and, and anything that might compromise care. Um, customers come to Cetra for the reliability of our technology, the quality of our technology, and um, the support that we that we give them. So any of these devices are, are very suitable for the COVID-19 outbreak that we have and that we have today. Yeah, thanks for your time, Mike. If anyone's interested in learning more, uh, please log on to www.setra.com. Uh, we're obviously monitoring the situation 
uh, very closely. Um, you know, we're hoping that we're hoping that we can get under wrap fairly soon, uh, but we also stand ready to help any hospital uh, that needs our products and, and needs to create additional isolation. We stand ready to help them find the right solution. Uh, you can also give us a call or fill out one of the forms on our website. Um, we're happy to hook you into our specialist, Mike Soper, um, or anyone else uh, on our knowledgeable staff to help you find the right solution for your particular needs. So thanks again for joining. Uh, thank you, Mike, for your time this morning. And uh, we just wish everyone uh, safe during this uh, during this pandemic. Thanks for joining, Mike. Yep. Thanks, Mike.